Morning folks, we're going to detect this field again today. We've had a bit of a gap in videos, uh, mostly because of this. The weather since Christmas has been really, we've had a lot of snow, freezing cold temperatures, the ground is still actually frozen, but just the first couple of centimetres, so we can dig. I just need to watch I don't snap my shovel clean in half, which I have actually done before somehow. Right. I'm going to start right where I'm sitting here, right here. I'll come back with a first signal. What a beautiful day by the way, look. Stunning. Just a bit cold. Alright, here's the first signal. Well, the first two signals. This bit came out of that hole there. Uh, and right next to it was what I'm guessing is the other half. I don't know. It's been cut clean in half, made of lead. I'm pretty sure on this side, on this bit, you can see something there. So maybe some sort of mount, possibly. So there you go, the first two signals. Okay, I just dug up a bit of a spoon, which I have cleaned up and it says rustless nickel silver however nickel silver doesn't actually have any silver in it I'm sure that's just to annoy metal detectorists it's got nickel and I think zinc and something else but even though it's called silver it has no silver in it <laughs> so there you go we've got a nickel spoon Okay, right on the edge of the field here, looks like a button. Definitely a button, there's the shank. Go. Oh. Got a nice bit of colour on it. I wonder, doesn't look like there's anything on the front as usual. <laughs> well, saying that, we got a nice one last week. Right. Let's get some of this stuff off. Okay, there's the front. Nothing on it. And there's the back, looks quite nice. Uh, does anybody know why they used to do that? Why would you have that nice gold trim on the back where nobody's going to see it? And that pattern bit. Surely you'd want that on the front, that. Nobody's going to see it there. Anyway, it's a button. It's a nice button. Alright, I've already dug it up, it's under here, and it looks like a totally wee coin. If that's a coin, it's going to be one of these turners again, isn't it? Which isn't bad. Yes, I think, based on very little, this could be a Charles the first or second. Which is old, but <laughs> not much to look at. Uh, let's give it a clean up. Right, I don't know if you'll be able to see it. Not that there's a lot to see, but I can see a tiny bit of a circle here. I think it's going to be a 1600 copper. Is my guess. Okay, we've got a pistol ball, I think. Oh, even better. Look, 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 look. It's got two rings on it, or one ring. Oh, it's been a while. It's a mini ball, or a, just a bullet, maybe. Part of one. <laughs> you can see the ring on it. I think it struck something. Is it? Is it? It's not hollow. Hmm... Yeah, I think so. I think that is a bullet, a mini ball. Right, we've got a signal right in here. If that's a big chunk of iron, which it probably will be, 
I never get good stuff that's deep. I don't know if that's the detector or what, but... No oh, man, this is going to be a deep bit of iron, or a can. Jeez. Oh, give me two seconds, folks. Oh. Right, I can't get that out. It's wedged in. It's big. It'll be a big iron fence post or something. So I'm just going to leave it. Sorry, if that's part of a Roman burial chariot, somebody else can get it. Right, good signal again. It's, it's not very deep either. I was trying to see if I could see it right on the surface, actually. Is that it? That better not be it. Thank God it's not right. What's that? What's that? What's that? Ooh, this looks like a nice big solid piece of lead. This looks like a saddler's badge. Please, ooh, this could be a really nice one. <gasps> ooh, what is this? Oh, that's some sort of medallion, I think. Is it? Wow. Mm. Right, I've no idea what this is. But uh, don't you dare tell me that's a bath plug. <laughs> it better not be a bath plug. It's really strange, I've never seen anything like that before. So please let me know. If you think it's a bath plug, just keep your mouth shut please. I don't want to know. Ignorance is bliss. Alright. Ooh, the screen's dark. I think we've got a bag seal there. Right here. It is, it's going to be a bag seal. There's writing on it there. Alright, let's have a look at this thing. Right, I'm pretty sure I've found this exact one before. The zero on the back and the triangle. Pretty sure that's a, f a flour mill. And I can't remember if it was from Hungary. Hungary or... I think Hungary. So what I'll do when I get home, I'll find the other one that I found and I'll stick them both together. But, yep, there you go. Quite a nice bag seal. We've got our button. Right there. Whoa, my phone's not liking all these different colours. Yup, got the shank on the back there. Looks like it's blank on that side. Let's see what's on it. Give me a wee second. Yep, nothing on the front that I can see. And the back has got a maker stamped around the side, but obviously I can't read it at the moment. Quite a nice little thing to find though. Just a button, but it's nice, small. And hopefully I'll figure that maker out when I get home. Probably not. Okay, we've got a good signal right here. Right there. Let's see if I can do it live. I know the screens went a bit dark. Don't worry about it. I'll fix it in a wee sec. Once I've found this hammered coin.
do you know what I should have done? I should have went over that with the detector before I got the pointer out. <coughs> bear with me, bear with me. Right, I think it is out. There, there it is, there it is. It's either a coin or a button. It is another, definitely another button. Alright. Alright, the front is blank. But the remains of quite a nice pattern on the back there. Honestly, button makers must have done very well for themselves. They must have had no shortage of business. Another button. Okay. We've either got a coin or a button there. I'm digging most of these holes first before I turn the camera on. Ooh, what is that? That looks interesting. Is that a button point? Wow. I've n what am I looking at here? I've never seen that before. What was I saying there? Aye, I'm, I'm just digging things up and then turning the camera on because it's too cold and muddy. What on earth is that? Right, I'm going to have to clean this a bit. Well, that's a first for me. I've never seen a pattern like that on a coin or a button. <laughs> that looks weird. That almost looks like letters. Right, there's the back. Which is pretty nice in itself. It's got a beautiful pattern on it. And that's the front. As you can see, it's had a... Uh, what do you call that? A waffle sort of pattern. At some point, I've never found a button like that. And I'm guessing the, this has just chipped away over time and left that pattern. That is really interesting. And look at that, that I, I like the back. So what kind of button is that? Does anybody know? Okay, we've got a signal right in the middle of this clump, just right below the surface. Oh, it's not very easy doing this when it's frozen solid. <coughs> Still in here. Oh, there it is, look. That was worth it, it's a tiny little pistol ball. Oh, nice. That's really small. Ooh. Oh, I thought I still had the sprue on it, it was just a bit of mud. Yep. There you go, a pistol ball. That is a nice thing to find. Alright, that's me done today. There's the rubbish, quite a lot of it today. There's the better stuff, definitely a button day today. But loads of them are quite nice actually, that's very interesting. One with a bit of guilt on it. That one's nice. So yeah, some nice buttons today. Not much in the way of coins. Right folks, if you know anything about these stuff, don't tell me it's a bath pug, please. Just let me know. Right, I'll see you next time folks, cheers.